G'day people, and here we have my black one Altitude XC from Apollo 2008 model, and we have 66cc bicycle engine from rocksolidengines.com.au with sick bike parts, tuned exhaust, and their shift kit. From front to back, we have the clutch with the upgraded holder and that's very stiff at the moment but it works well and we have the dual pull brake lever and my gears in the normal place with my mirror zip tied at the perfect angle so gives not much vibration at all while going the larger upgraded tank and this one here, the Speedo, it's been properly calibrated to kilometres an hour and to the correct wheel diameter so there'll be no exaggerated speeds from this way and we also have awesomely comfy seat with quite large springs which absorb, oh geez, every bounce that I've come across so far my only gripe with the shift kit is this. How is this supposed to mount onto here? I don't think glue would do it as the um, heating of the engine would say melt the glue, make it all gooey and with the wind resistance from the front end would we'll just peel this right off. Perhaps in uh, future revisions they could include a little plate that goes from across here. If we were supposed to drill through from the other side, should this not be put on before the shift kit? It just makes it seem weird. But anyway, I'll be making my own one of these. We have the shift kit. Not too much room down there at all. And, yeah, I personally won't be using all eight gears. I'm just, you know, a little bit worried that the chains are going to catch, so I'll be only going down to about fifth or sixth. We have disc brakes and opted for the uh, cable rather than hydraulic, so I can use the dual pull brake lever. And she's done. Alrighty. So... Without further ado, let's fill her up. Alrighty, this seems to be a nice drop. Something we picked up from the store. Alright, one thing I forgot to mention was the front mounting bracket. This has given me a lot of trouble in the past, not this particular one, but the front mount in general. And with many sheared bolts and two failed engines of the 66 variety so far, I got a nice balanced one from Rock Solid and pretty much overkill front bracket. It is a 3mm thick hardened steel plate from cut out from the scaffolding from Bunnings and with a M8U bolt put through it. You can get a good look down there. And it is quite stiff and the top one here is for the um, say 
helping out with not letting the engine move from side to side like that as she's going and yeah that's pretty much it alright so I hope this helps and if anyone's got any questions just ask